think one of the biggest strengths that we have in Yuma is that, is that uh, one, we, we have a very uh, progressive and, uh, and energetic and innovative uh, 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 teacher population and an energetic and innovative uh, leadership population within the school system. The, uh, you know, they never stop trying. They're, uh, they're trying something different all of the time. Uh, they kind of stick with what works in some areas, and, but they're not afraid to try something new and different and innovative uh, in order to kind of get the result that they want. I think anyway, as far as military parents go when they come into a new school system is, is typically, um, or my experience has been that, that military families are typically very involved in their children's education. I know many of the parents and, uh, and even some of our young Marines and sailors on the, on the station here are often involved in the sports teams in town, which is great for the team and it's great for the Marines. I think if you ask anybody, ask any educator, ask uh, any teacher, and they'll tell you that the sort of the number one indicator of success in children is sort of is how involved their parents are in their individual child's education. So if you can stay involved, there's you you're going to increase the chances of success. Well, if you uh, extrapolate that out a little bit to uh, being involved in your child's school, even so much as being a volunteer, then uh, then it's only going to uh, both teach your child that education is important because you're going to take some time to to be a part of it and you also have the ability to be uh, to be involved in the day-to-day -day effort and right down to what are they what are they doing for homework or that that sort of thing I look for a lot of different things that uh, that there's opportunity for for young children or young people rather that uh, you know, for those that, that, do, that do plan to go on to a university or a four-year uh, granting institution, something like that, that there's, uh, that there's the advanced sort of courses that are available that, that will help to uh, either both prepare them and uh, help to make them a little bit more successful perhaps and uh, sort of ease that entry into, uh, into the university. I see that in Yuma here. I thought it was remarkably and, and wonderfully innovative as they, you know, that uh, that doesn't have to be done at the high school. I also look for opportunities for leadership though. And so, so in the high schools, if there's opportunities for leadership, say tutoring, um, opportunities to volunteer for the students, you know, uh, in, the, in the community, that uh, you know, all of those things are very important. It's important to universities and it's important to your community. The, the community should see the high school aged students uh, out there in the community doing things for the community, not just showing up for school every day, taking an education, walking across the, uh, uh, the uh, podium at graduation day saying thanks a lot. You know, I joined the Marines to, uh, to fly airplanes. And I was very, been very fortunate to get to fly airplanes and a lot of different airplanes uh, over the course of my 27 years. Well, you don't get to do that by just saying, well, okay, I'm done, uh, I'm good. You know, that, that's all I need. And uh, I mean, there's more school, and I got a master's degree, and I got a, uh, I got to go to a number of different military schools, and and uh, so I've been very fortunate. But you don't stop at the end of high school um, if you want to be successful and get those th those things out of life that you want. The idea of having. Uh, 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 forward-thinking innovators, uh, you know, whatever uh, sort of term we want to put on it, but people that are critically thinking and can think of new things because uh, is, is vital. It, it, and it's the only way for us to continue to innovate. People need to, uh, to find the answer and not just get the answer and, and, or know the answer. They need to know how to find it and how to look and how to write that down and, and how to, uh, to appropriately articulate that so that uh, uh, so that we can keep talking. You don't want to reinvent the wheel every time you launch the space shuttle, but, uh, but you do want to, uh, to be innovative and think about, well, what are we going to do next? And, uh, and how would we do it better? And if we, if we could, what would we do? And, and, uh, and think about those things that, that can and maybe should change um, instead of just saying, well, that's good enough. Because um, once, we, once we as a country say, well, that's good enough, then, uh, then I think uh, we're going to get surpassed by a bunch of people that, that we would be surprised that could surpass us.